guys, don't forget to like us on YouTube. Follow us on Facebook. Wyckoff's Adventures. Hit that subscribe button. What's up? What's going on? What's up, guys? What is up? What is up? I know you guys saw the beautiful surroundings that we have here. Um, it looks like we have a no trespassing across the street. It looks like they're, you know, grinding rocks and stuff. And we had to pick this location. Um, it's five, five nights free. The only thing we have to do is use our generator. Um, the, the water is portable. So that means we would have to fill our, uh, fill our jugs and then put the jugs you know, with the invention that I made. Well, I did some research and there's called a portable water tank and I don't need to get the 29 gallon portable water tank with a small little village pump and then put it in there. So what I'm gonna do is I thought of getting a shower, a portable shower with the village pump in it. And I think it carries about five gallons. I'm trying to find some or one of them that has 10 gallons so then all I got to do is just hit it and put it in there, hit the button, it'll fill it up, you know, so it'll be faster than me just pouring every single time. So I think that was, uh, I think that'd be a little bit better and it's a collapsible and it's movable. Um, Nick's at work today. We are in Tarpon Springs, um, right next, right next to the sponge docks. You know, walking around down there, taking the new electric bikes. These things are amazing. Me and Nick rode them last night, the night before. Top speed, 20 miles an hour, um, four hours. Dude, they're amazing. So thank you, Sandy, on that. But yeah, we are. All right, let's let's keep it down. We got loud trucks. We're in the industry, or they call it industrial part, and that's why we can run our generator. Um, due to the fact because it's all loud around here we are at a uh, but I mean over here crushing rocks like that's awesome but, but we had to pick you know Monday through Friday why couldn't we do the weekend when everybody's off on the weekend you know but we found we found a spot that's why we weren't here on the weekend because we found an awesome spot and in, uh, in uh, St. Pete but we could only get it for two nights Free, full hookup, everything, amazing. Nancy was amazing, um, good host for sure. So far, this place is actually pretty good. Um, it is loud here, but our generator is loud, so I have to deal, you know, we're gonna have to deal with it, simple as that. You know, especially when, when, when it's free. It gives you opportunity, and last night, me and Nick, we looked into the app, and it's everywhere, everywhere in the state. So that means we can travel to each state and have at least four or five days in each state or each place um, for free. All we would have to do is pay for the gas and, and, and for our food. So that, that right there, you know, will allow us to be on the road and and give you guys good content out in the united states so we're planning on that but we're still working full time so the only time we can do that is when we take off and get some money under our belts to do that to be able to travel so that's to come um you know everything costs money guys simple as that um you guys should know that so that's why we are only doing adventurous stuffs where we go around the Pinellas, Tampa, Hillsboro, um, you know, Brandon area. We're thinking about going down to the Keys, Everglades, you know, all around the state of Florida for you guys um, and lock down Florida before we really make that leap to uh, hit up the 48 states. Um, I mean, I really want to do that. That's me and Nick's goal. I think we can bring you better content awesome adventures i mean it the sky's the limit and i just can't wait to do that but i'm just scared to take that jump to be honest with you um you know just gotta have but you know you gotta have faith right 
And do I take that left turn or do I take that, did I just say take that left turn? Take that right turn and then take that left turn. You know what I mean? Or just keep going straight where we're at. You know, that's, that's the question. Um, but yeah, we're here. Um, you know, got three videos be, that you guys will be watching before this one. So really, I really hope that you guys enjoy those videos and, and, and really, you know, keep enjoying what we're trying to produce and giving you guys great content. I really hope that everything is, is laying down how it should and, and for you guys to laugh and have good times because that's what it's all about guys is having fun and being able to spread the love you know and the goofiness and and that's just what i ha that's what i am I'm, I'm goofy and you know and i want to have a good time and, and and show you you guys a good time so that's what today's about um nick's at work she gets off around two so we're going to be heading over to the sponge docks um today most likely but i gotta go get gas for the generator so and that's another thing yeah it's free here but we're paying about 15 to 20 dollars on gas for the pro for for the for the gas generator so that's actually we turned on the generator last night around seven o'clock and it's 10 a.m right now so do the math there you go i mean i think that's a pretty darn good time 7 to 10, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That's 15 hours. So 15 hours is pretty good. It's not a full day, um, you know. But, hey, we got to do it. We got to do what we got to do, you know, and uh, survive, survive to the fullest. Um, we we just called a a spot in... Clearwater, it's a resort that we got information on and we tried to call them. We tried to let them know, hey, we're a YouTube channel. We would like to come and give you a review at your park. We'd like to stay for about a month, two months. Is there any opening spots? They told me they do not have an opening spot until August and that is only for one week and that they are not doing months, month stays. And I'm like, are you kidding me? So I'm starting to see a pattern here because before it was April 1st, we'll, you know, we'll start having openings. There might be a pattern of they're not going to give out month stays. They're going to give out day stays or week stays because they can make more money, you know, because if you stay a month, you should be able to get a discount. You know what I mean? Um, so that's going to bite us. That's going to bite us if they don't do that or allow us to be able to find a RV lot or RV um, resort or a campground that we can stay for a long period of time so we can catch up on some things, then there might be a problem. And if that's the case and we can't really find anything around here, you know, we have to just go hip camping and go into spots for low prices or, you know, boondocking here and there, you know, we're going to have to do that until we get some money under our, under our feet. So then we can just take that, take that leap of faith and try to travel all 48 States and come, come visit all you guys. Cause, uh, that's the game plan. That's what we want. We want to be able to hit each state up, give you guys, you know, maybe a rally of, of adventurous rally, like, uh, basically a party rally and, um, you know, pool party, glow stick party, uh, you know, arcade party, putt, putt, you know, putt, putt golf, you know, those kind of things that you guys can come out to and we can all hang out and have fun. I think that's what we should do. I think that's, you know, my game plan. We ran into someone uh, yesterday at Walmart. Um, actually, three people. Um, 
two of them watch our channel. It was amazing to see actually support out there and, and to see us out on the road and to come and say hi. You know, much appreciated. I'm so sorry that I don't have anything with us. Um, me and Nick spoke last night about we have to have something on us at all times. So if anybody comes and sees us, we have something to be able to give you guys. So we're thinking about doing gift bag baskets or like bags. Um, we're going to do stickers, um, a card from us, and we're going to sign. Me and Nick's going to sign it. Um, so when you guys do see us on the road, we have something to give you. So we're having a dilemma here. See, here's a spot here, and it's too much sand in there. And then you come over here, and there's too much right here. And then you got this tree in the way. And you got to have a tight, tight squeeze in that mofo. But yeah, I mean, I, I could only park here due to the sand and getting stuck. But we'll see. We'll see. I want to get this bus right here. That bus is sick. So yeah, so it's definitely... You know, it's all free and it's, you know, a good place. But when you have one, now there's another. Yeah, so when you have free spots, yeah, they go up fast, you know. Luckily, we got here just in time because now we got a fifth wheel coming in. We got a class A coming in and there's another one right down the road. But the dilemma is each spot has sand in it and a lot of people don't want to put their rigs and sand because then you'll get stuck you know luckily i got here first and we could squeeze right in the middle where there was no sand luckily but we did give enough room for the far side hopefully i don't have to move but we'll have to see you know um we will see hopefully for the best um but like i was saying um you know the the parents, the kids watch us. So I will have to be taking the cuss words out. So if you guys hear a, a beep or a silence for a couple seconds, it was me cussing. And I'm going to try to clean up as best as I can, guys. So just bear with me. I'm going to do everything I possibly can to, to keep it PG um, for the kiddos, you know. Because I can see the, you know, the adults watching and, and, and the kids will be watching too. You, you know, the, you know, the adults will be like, oh my God, that was the funniest stuff ever. And then they would want to show their kids. So I have to be PG and I'm going to do the best I can for you guys. So just bear with me. I might slip here and there, but you know, that's a whole thing changing too, you know? So yeah, we're boondocking. Nice little area, um, just ran out of gas, so I'm going to have to go to the gas station, fill it up. Like I said, Nick's at work till 2, and then after 2, we're going to go hit up the sponge docks, and uh, we're going to hit up the sponge docks and basically uh, give you guys a video, but it depends. Maybe we still should, but it will mess up the whole series. Because all these videos that are coming out or is all in line. So just bear with me. We're going to have something going. We're going to keep, keep everything on, on, on planned, on, uh, on a route. Um, we will be doing a video also of us riding the electric scooters stuff like that so stay tuned just wanted to give you guys an update of what's popping what's going on we're here we're chilling we're uh we're okay we're good so can't wait to show you the boon docking boon docking chocolating whatever doesn't matter anyways much love to all you guys see you right here with the new video that's coming up right now.
and it's over there at the sponge docks. So here it goes. We're gonna bring it to you right now at the sponge docks. Let's right, guys, go. Guys, we are heading out on the bike. Nick has made it home and we are heading to the sponge docks. That's where we're gonna head, that's where we're gonna go. So hopefully we can make it there on time. You ready? Yeah. All right, let's go. Time. Oh yeah, cause oh, there's... Yeah, you gotta plug it in. Plug it in. There you go. Right, I might be able to put that packet It's fine, we're gonna plug it in here. Oh, you got it? Yep. This uh, sand is pretty. There goes Nick. She's off. <laughs> off the races. Ready? Yep. How you doing? I'm still doing about 15. Okay, she slowed down. Never mind. Sometimes, are you coming or what? She slows down. Oh, wait, we're going up a hill. Oh, the dust was getting in your eyes? That's so why you gotta wear glasses. Yeah, I know. Heading to the sponge docks. Sponge docks. Yee hee! All right. Sponge docks, here we come. Nice little setup there. Speed limit's 35, I'm doing about 18. This way, check this out. This is a little dock, little watering hole. Got the old sailboats. Yeah, 
this morning on my way to work, the sunset was beautiful over the water over the other side of the river. So we're going to have to check that out. I mean the sunrise, my bad. Sunrise, sunrise you mean? Mm -hmm. But the sunset will be to this side because the sunrise is to the opposite. And then we'll go to the other side of the bridge. And look at this. Beautiful. Last night we checked this spot out. It's pretty nice. Yeah, and it goes out to the bay. Not so clear. Brackish water. But just the All right. I'm gonna wait, you guys ready? I gotta pull my pants up so you don't see my crack in my butt. <laughs> All right. All right, hang on. Let me get situated here. So. All right. That's why you have a GoPro, though, you know. Yeah. So that uh, we can have it on here and ride, yeah. and it's not shaky. All right, go. Hang on. Let me get me. Fat guy on a little bike. Fat guy on a little bike. Hey. Oh, yeah, it's gonna be shaky as shit. Okay. It's gonna be shaky. Huh? It's gonna be shaky. Because I'm shaking, this road's bad. That was a big old bump. Sorry guys, these roads around here are awful. Whoop! End of run. Is it? I know the road is terrible. Terrible. All right, you guys are back with me again. I'm gonna do my best to not make it so shaky. Huh? I'm gonna go come up here and check this area out. This is the sponge docks that we're coming to, guys.
they know us? Bumpy as this is the sidewalks here, guys. Just bear with me. One hand and let's go. There's no burnt rubber. Somebody did some feeling out. Sponge docks. Pinellas. See, Nick? That's where the Pinellas Trails is, right there. Yeah. See, Pinellas Trails. Sponge docks this way. Downtown go that way. So the Pinellas Trail parking is that way. But we're going to go this way, guys. And that's the sponge docks down here. This used to be a big old restaurant party lounge totally gone but hey let's hit the streets come on oh and across the street that's the parking um, right here all day parking this is where you can park across the street when you hit up the sponge docks and then it takes buses are welcome so definitely it's uh, they think 10 15 bucks I think for parking down here but uh, Dolphin Cruise, go on a cruise, go on a cruise, go on a cruise. Get some uh, charter fishing. We don't have locks for our bikes yet, Nick. Eventually, hopefully, we'll get locks. Docks, waterfront, bar, and grill. Shopping all around. Well, I can't go up there. That would have been funny. <laughs> Be like, yep, you know what? I'm going up there. What? Yep, here we go. Okay, here. I can't see you. Keep backing up away from the camera. <laughs> Huh? Right here, I did horrible filming. Sorry, I couldn't go, and I couldn't see you. How can you not see? The sun. Well, yeah. Try to show you guys. There goes my bell. I lost my bell. I knew it was shaking for a little bit. Oh, fuck. <laughs> my whiskey throttle. Alright, I need my bell. My okay. bell has fell off. Oh, no. Oh, I need my something. screw. Yep, that's it. You're my screw came unloose. Yeah, so when did that come loose? I don't know. So you gotta get another screw. Yeah, I'll just there keep my bell in my pocket. Yep. Keep the bell in my pocket. So we need to tighten that. Yep. No, I already tightened it. That's why I'm a little weirded why it went off. Yeah, so I guess the uh, thing fell before, huh? Yeah. It's fine, I can find a screw at the house.
This is where you can rent some boats, it looks like, right here. It says Gypsy, get it? Gypsy, huh? Yeah. That's cool. Good one. Can't go out that way. Nice old yacht. These are all the fishing boats. Window shopping, window shopping. It's all window shopping. There's your public bathrooms right here. Yeah, parking is five dollars right here. So it looks like parking is five dollars. The sun's killing the view guys, so sorry about that. So this used to be the, one of the aquariums that was inside aquarium. Hopefully that they are remodeling it and not taking it down because it was pretty pretty cool and then we got the centerpiece up here or over here I'll just wait and eh, I'll go now
Back on the bike we go. And they got a nice little you know, restaurant down at the end. You got these right here. And then a nice little restaurant down here at the end of the sponge docks. It's called Local Seafood, Fresh and Local Seafood right here. Called Rusty's. Closed on Monday. Okay. So they're closed on Monday. Yeah, the sun does not help at all. So now the film might be a little bit better now that we're not facing the sun. Nice little setup over here. Where they bring all the fishies and the sea creatures out here. And they got the shrimp. A lot of gas right there, a lot of gas. Nice little fishing boats right here. You said the aquarium is open? That's what the light I doubt it. It looks like, like yeah. Yeah, some crab traps. Watch out. Got some crab traps. All right, let's go ahead and head back the other <coughs> way. Go around the round, <coughs> roundabout. Got their sponges. Yeah, five dollars all day parking right here. Five dollars. So that's cool. Yeah, they catch these sponges right out of this water. Yep, yep. Yeah, not everybody knows that. So. Nope. This is where they all, hold on guys. All right, sorry about that. There was uh, music uh, driving by. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and head this way. And yeah, the sponges are out there in the sea. That's where they're getting the sponges at. And they bring it here. That's a nice little bite right there. But yeah. Go up in here. All right, so we're going to go into the sponge exchange. So it looks like they're exchanging the sponges. <laughs> so let's go check it out. It's yeah. Woo. Nice little area. Sit around and uh, grab something to eat. Nice uh, shopping, shopping centers. Here, I'm gonna show you guys some sponges. We just saw Jaws right there and a boat. But here's all the sponges. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what these sponges look like that are out there. These are the sponges that they grab out there in the water. Prices 44, 59, 29. And then you got the small, very small sponges. 
And then we got the star, 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 uh, star fishies. Oh, look at that. Magic. Those are finger sponges. What are they called? Finger sponges. Finger sponges? Yeah, because they look like fingers. Oh, they look like fingers, Nick. Mm hmm So it's called finger Oh, man. <laughs> there we go. $1.98 for these sponges. Bigger sponges. You can clean houses with this. For 25 bucks. No, I wouldn't pay 25 But what could you use these with, yeah, Nick? that's what you do. You wash your body with them. Oh, really? Okay, They're okay. Sponges. I know, but I thought, like, why would you pay $25 to because mess them up? Because it's a natural sponge. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> But yeah, I just wanted to show you the sponges. Is this the same as this? Yeah. Thank you. Very cool. Yeah, this is the sponge exchange. So I guess you can bring a sponge and they'll they'll give you another one. Right? No? Okay. Oh, okay. So, do you want to take them in there and yeah, okay. show them off? That's one of the old diving suits. They used to dive and get the sponge. He doesn't the sponges will continue through early afternoon. This gives Tasso the chance to show little Nicholas his boat. No way to the lake. Eh? No way to the lake. Now we get ready to leave. You want to be a captain? You want to be a captain me? No? You want to be a diver? Yeah. At the end of the day, the deal is done. Tasso gets a price he says he can live with. About $17,000. Zacharias wants more for the sponges. He and Tasso will not work together again this season. Traditionally, the sponge boat usually consisted of a captain, one or two divers, a deckhand, and an engineer to pilot the boat. The money from the sponges was divvied in shares, with the captain, who was the boat owner, getting the larger portion. Although the work was hard for the men who wanted work, it was easy to find. They always seem to have money in their pockets. You were just like a king at that time. Mm -hmm. So that's the story of and, uh, getting the sponges. Times have changed. They got every kind of sponge, every size, every shape you can think of. You need a sponge? Come to Tarpon Springs Sponge Docks. Well, these are cheaper. You have to know what you can do and what. And bigger. Seven ninety eight. To eight ninety nine. The same Philip is beginning to fill with sponges. Ron and the men will huh. string them using a large lead. Oh, those are for cars and horses. This provides hmm. more room and different sponges for different things. Mohit knows that the only way to make money on a sponge boat is to find Very a interesting. That's a box of sponges. I was, yeah, because I was showing the video about uh, them talking about getting sponges. You stayed in one section. 
Yep, and then here's a little starfish, and there's the sand dollars. A little sand we got dollars, those on big there. sand dollars. Yeah, we've found some of those before. Yeah, they're pretty cool. We saw one of these alive. Yes, we and did. We got a video. Of yep, a bigger one of that. Yep. But yeah, they have some big ones in there. They're made for different things. Nice. They're not made for that. Oh. They have car washing ones and oh wow, here's oh, wow. big ones. Yeah, colors. Oh yeah, those are cool. Oh, they paint them. Yeah, they do. All right, then let's look at these real quick. Oh, and then you use a sponge to hold the starfish. Like, what can you use with that big sponge? What can you use? For that? That's for decoration or something. Uh, but they have ones or that you know said what you can do? for cut them, cut them, cut a piece off and use it. Yeah, but they had some over there for seven and eight dollars that were bigger than the How twenty-four. Much? Seven and eight. Seven and eight. That said, they were for car washing and horse baths. Oh, okay. And horse baths. Oh, look at that. That's nice. Made out of shells. Very nice. Very nice stuff. Oh, some huge shells over here. Huge. Nice. Oh, and the night lights made out of shells too. Cute, cute. Here's some pictures. I think that's that dive suit that's out there. Way back in the day. Hard work to get them sponges. Nice. You know the sponges up there? Sponges everywhere. Right. Off to the races. I'm going so fast. Whoa. All right. Beautiful picture. Bom, 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 bom. All right, I had to get away from the music. I'm gonna go this way. What? The what? Oh. So we're gonna go down this way. Some food and stuff over there. Just noticed that there's more. Yeah, there's roads all over. Mama's Mexican restaurant. Dollar fifty taco Wednesdays. Yeah, I think they added on down here. Since the, since the last time we were here. Yeah, we're not going to a baker. Zor, Zorba, Zorbas. Oh yeah, it's Greek. Greek area. And you got some Chinese food. That's what it is, Greek Chinese food? Oh yeah, Nat. Natural, natural bakery. Natural. So yeah, we're gonna go down the back alleys. So this is like I believe do not block driveway 24 access. So it looks like they are Airbnbs over here. Looks like Airbnbs. Yep. They don't have hotels here. They got Airbnbs. Yep. So that'll be actually a nice parking spot right there for RVs. Nice little area. Where it says go downtown? Yeah. I'm thinking this might be it. But we're just... Cheaper? You have my wallet, right? Huh? You have my wallet? Yeah. All right. 
Because I don't know if I, for, I like <laughs> forgot it. I got the American flag up. Um, exclusive center. But so exclusive. Florida Gators. Yeah, I think this is the downtown area. Um, the gas station is down there. Yeah, I think this is the downtown. Right down here is downtown. So we'll go check downtown. Tarpon Springs. That's a nice windmills. Uh, yard ornaments. No, I'm gonna have you. So you see the ar yard or the yard ornaments, right, guys? You see them? All right. Okay, all the yard ornaments over there. Can you guys find Brian? It's like find Waldo. Do you see? I'll even zoom in a little bit. Yeah, Brian was a yard ornament. Yeah, I saw you as a yard ornament. Holy cow, holy cow, yeah! All right, guys, I have found Bigfoot. Right there at the door at the PBR. All right, guys, uh, hopefully you found me over there in the yard. Over there, oh, that's a nice wheels. Um, over in the yard over there yard ornament um, it was fine Brian in the yard ornaments you know what I mean so anyways we're gonna go ahead and ride down the downtown area we already hit um, the sponge docks and stuff like that so now we're gonna go take the e-bikes down to downtown show you around there and then head back to the camp so we'll see you guys in downtown all right guys we have welcome to beautiful tarpon springs downtown area right here at this two traffic lights gotta love it all right here's the second light here in tarpon springs and this is the downtown area we're gonna go ahead and ride down this way right here. Here we go. Got a lot of American flags. Now you got all right. Got down there, and we got down there.
Tarpa and Healthcare. Hey Nick. Right here. Tarpon Springs City Hall. Then you got the fire station right across the street. Very small town. The roads are terrible. So definitely if you got a electric bike, make sure you got some super swampers on it. So we're gonna take the trail just a little way down. See, Pinellas Trails. And we're gonna cut it off right here. What is that, Nick? What is that? What is that, Nick? What is that? That's an elevator. What is that? That's septic, Nick. It definitely goes up, though. Right no. No. Nope. Is, is it the workers need to get in there? No, nope, that's septic, Nick. No, it's That's septic. It's septic it's so you got, look, you got little it's things right on it. Oh, it smells like poo. Okay, no, no. So we got a little thing right here. Looks like you can hook your bikes up to it. Bing, 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 wada bing, bada boom. And this is what it is. No way. This is City of Tarpon Springs Stormwater Quality Improvement Project. City of Tarpon Springs Stormwater Utility Division. So this is what it's supposed to do. Comes in, catches all the stuff, and then they can pick it all, see? And it picks all the junk, and it clears the water out. So it's a big filter. Yep, it's a big filter. So all the stuff goes in. Oh, so they open it to clean it. Yep, and then they bring it up and pick all this stuff out of it. See? Now that is pretty darn cool. But it sure smells like sewage. Yeah, because it's over time. It takes a while of the crap, because it looks like a whole bunch of crap in there. Because see, there's the water. See the water? And there's the junk that's in it and then we got our where are you going Nick look at this. oh you know what this is right it can, work on my bike. it can work on your bike you put your bikes up here you hang it and then you swing it right here look just a swing and just a whole bunch of uh, tools and stuff and it all goes right there you put your bike up there you can work on your bike on the trail i can't wait to take you guys on this trail stay tuned if you guys are if not, you guys are not subscribed make sure you hit that subscribe button follow share comment at the bottom anywhere you would like to see us go we would love to cover it here in florida like i said we do want to hit the 48 states but that is a goal in mind that we're going to work on but as of now that is awesome. Yeah, Those, then, woo, serious. But we can make them on these bikes. I guarantee you we can, and we're gonna do it, and we're gonna show you. So, like I said, hit that subscribe button so you can see all the adventures coming up. And we have made it now to the beginning, back to the sponge docks right here, and you gotta love that sun right there with those palm trees. So we're gonna head back to our camp. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, share, and comment. Like Off Adventures is out of here. <laughs>